Okay, we now proceed to find the multiplicative inverse of 8 in Z27. Let us first start by finding the greatest common divisor of 8 and 27. By using an equal algorithm, 27 is equal to 3 times 8 plus 3. So by repeating the algorithm, 8 and 3 here, we now have 8 equals to 2 times 3 plus 2. We haven't reached 0 yet, so let us continue again. 3 and 2. So 3 equals to 1 times 2 plus 1. And 2 equals to 2 times 1 plus 0. So hence, once we reach 0, we now know that the previous remainder was the greatest common divisor. And if you wish to find the multiple inverse of 8 in Z27, we will now work on all the remainders over here and we express them. From this, we know that 3 is equal to 27 minus 3 times 8. From this, I know that 2 is equal to 8 minus 2 times 3. And from 1 is equal to 3 minus 1 times 2. So now, working backwards for the extended UK algorithm, from 1, which is equal to 3 minus 1 times 2, I will now replace the 2. This is equal to 3 minus 1 times 2 is equal to 8 minus 2 times 3. So let me simplify this first. If this is minus 1, multiply in to minus 2 times 3, I will have positive 2 times 3. That will make a total of 3 trees minus 8. And we now proceed to work on the previous part now. Replace the trees. 3 is equal to 27 minus 3 times 8. So hence, there's a total of 3 27, 3 times 27, minus 9. Okay, I forgot to bring the minus 8 down. So total of minus 10 times 8. And hence, I can now tell that negative 10 is the multiplicative inverse of 8 in Z27. But since negative 10 is congruent to, let me see, 17 modulo 10. Sorry, modulo 27. So hence, 17 is the multiplicative inverse. of 8 in Z27.